Did you know that the world began in a state of chaos, a swirling vortex of primordial forces, where the very fabric of existence was still being woven? In this tumultuous abyss, a being emerged, a god of immense power and ancient wisdom, known as Abzu. He was the embodiment of the freshwater, the source of life and sustenance for all that existed. His waters, deep and mysterious, flowed through the very veins of the earth, nourishing the nascent world and giving birth to the first beings. Abzu was not alone. He was joined by Tiamat, the primordial goddess of saltwater, a being of immense power and untamed fury. Together, they ruled over the nascent world, their powers intertwined, their destinies forever linked. Their union birthed a brood of monstrous offspring, the gods of the storm, the gods of the earth, the gods of the sky, each embodying a different aspect of the chaotic world. But the world was not meant to remain in chaos. A new force emerged, a force of order and creation, embodied by the god Anu, the god of the heavens. Anu, born from the union of Abzu and Tiamat, was a being of immense power and ambition. He sought to bring order to the chaotic world, to establish a hierarchy, a system of rules and laws that would govern the universe. This ambition, however, clashed with the desires of Abzu. Abzu, the embodiment of the primordial waters, saw the world as a place of endless potential, a place where life could flourish without the constraints of order. He saw Anu's ambition as a threat to the natural order, a force that would stifle the very essence of creation. The conflict between Abzu and Anu was inevitable. It was a clash of titans, a battle for the very soul of the world. Abzu, with his immense power and ancient wisdom, rallied his monstrous offspring to his cause. Anu, with his ambition and cunning, sought to forge alliances with the other gods, to build a coalition strong enough to challenge Abzu's dominion. The battle raged for eons, a cosmic struggle that shook the very foundations of the world. The heavens thundered, the earth trembled, and the seas churned with the fury of the primordial forces. Abzu, with his monstrous offspring, unleashed a torrent of chaos upon the world, seeking to drown the nascent order in a sea of primordial fury. But Anu, with his cunning and strategic brilliance, countered Abzu's onslaught. He rallied the other gods, forging alliances and exploiting the weaknesses of Abzu's forces. In a climactic battle, Anu, with the help of his allies, vanquished Abzu, ending his reign of chaos and ushering in a new era of order. The victory of Anu, however, was not without its cost. The defeat of Abzu, the primordial god of freshwater, left a gaping wound in the world, a void that threatened to consume all life. The waters of Abzu, once a source of life and sustenance, now flowed with a dark and ominous power, a reminder of the chaos that had been vanquished. The defeat of Abzu also had a profound impact on the relationship between Anu and Tiamat. Tiamat, the primordial goddess of saltwater, had been a staunch ally of Abzu, her fury ignited by the death of her beloved. She vowed revenge, her rage a storm that threatened to engulf the world. Anu, now the undisputed ruler of the heavens, faced a new challenge, a challenge that would test his power and his wisdom. He had to confront Tiamat, the embodiment of chaos and fury, and quell her rage before it consumed the world. The battle between Anu and Tiamat was a clash of titans, a battle that would determine the fate of the world. Anu, with his cunning and strategic brilliance, rallied his allies, the gods of the sky, the gods of the earth, and the gods of the storm, to his cause. They faced Tiamat, a monstrous being of immense power, her furious storm that threatened to engulf the world. The battle raged for eons, a cosmic struggle that shook the very foundations of the world. The heavens thundered, the earth trembled, and the seas churned with the fury of the primordial forces. Tiamat, with her monstrous offspring, unleashed a torrent of chaos upon the world, seeking to drown the nascent order in a sea of primordial fury. But Anu, with his cunning and strategic brilliance, countered Tiamat's onslaught. He rallied his allies, forging alliances and exploiting the weaknesses of Tiamat's forces. In a climactic battle, Anu, with the help of his allies, vanquished Tiamat, ending her reign of chaos and ushering in a new era of order. The victory of Anu, however, was not without its cost. The defeat of Tiamat, the primordial goddess of saltwater, left a gaping wound in the world, a void that threatened to consume all life. The waters of Tiamat, once a source of life and sustenance, now flowed with a dark and ominous power, a reminder of the chaos that had been vanquished. The defeat of Abzu and Tiamat, the primordial gods of freshwater and saltwater, marked the end of an era, 
the end of the chaotic reign of the primordial forces. A new era had begun, an era of order and creation, an era ruled by Anu, the god of the heavens. But the legacy of Abzu and Tiamat lived on, their power and their fury woven into the very fabric of the world. The waters of Abzu, now tainted with the darkness of his defeat, flowed through the veins of the earth, a constant reminder of the chaos that had been vanquished. The waters of Tiamat, now a swirling vortex of rage and despair, crashed against the shores of the world, a testament to the fury of the primordial goddess. And so, the world was born, a world of order and creation, but also a world haunted by the ghosts of the primordial forces, a world forever marked by the legacy of Abzu and Tiamat. The story of their reign, their conflict, and their ultimate defeat is a story that echoes through the ages, a story that reminds us of the power of chaos and the fragility of order, a story that reminds us that the world we know is built upon the ruins of a world that was once ruled by the primordial forces. But the story of Abzu and Tiamat is not just a story of the past. It is a story that continues to unfold, a story that is woven into the very fabric of our existence. The waters of Abzu, the source of life and sustenance, still flow through the veins of the earth, nourishing the world and giving birth to new life. The waters of Tiamat, the embodiment of chaos and fury, still crash against the shores of the world, a reminder of the power of the primordial forces. And so, the story of Abzu and Tiamat is a story that will continue to be told, a story that will continue to shape the world we know, a story that will continue to remind us of the power of the primordial forces, the forces that created the world and the forces that continue to shape it.